this is a. Uh, this is because you asked for it. Thank you, mate, for fucking knowing the. Sorry, for. <laughs> I don't know it, I've got to read it. It goes like this it's called Monuments. It's uh, dedicated to anybody who's uh, ever been so madly in love that they end up getting married. I jumped on a train when the world was too much. I called you up, I said I need to get out of the city a while, I really need to come see you. You were excited. I boarded the train and my heartbeat was violent and I tried to act cool but yo, I couldn't hide it. Cause you were still everything. Just like you had always been everything. Okay, never my everything, but still I couldn't make sense of anything. So I went to see you, to talk, to say nothing. You made me remember I won't stop at nothing. You give me the space to be someone who doesn't have to be someone. And we sat on the pavements of Paris and we drank and we talked about death. And I told you about the pain that had been pressing my chest into my spine and making it harder and harder to rhyme without lager or wine or whiskey. Because when you talk, I hear you so deeply. And you didn't kiss me at all, not till much later, after the bar, where I caught you looking at me with something so visible inside your eyes, something visceral. Something I knew was in mine. Unequivocal passion and madness and love and respect. And then you took me home and I sat on your bed and I read Ezra Pound while you got undressed. And then you lay down and still no caress. We just talked and said nothing. But then all of a sudden we were kissing like we had invented the act. You were loving me and I was loving back. And it was the tenderest I'd ever been, ever felt. I thought of nothing else, just your soul in your lips pressing against mine. And I knew that I lived. I knew that I breathed. And I moved just for this. And the morning came up and I felt better, refreshed. And I woke to the shape of your body and dared to believe that one day it would be like this each morning. The sun coming in and resting on your skin. But as it was, I had a city waiting for me, a London that wouldn't be patient with me. So I walked you to your class, I kissed you and you tasted of me and my heart was all chaos like waves in a sea after tectonic shifts and I walked the avenues, wondering how I could ever have managed to last all these months without having you. The words are in me, I was ready to burst. I walked to the park and sat there on the curb and watched as my skin rose to meet the cold wind and I wrote you poetry. I wrote you poems you'd laugh at to see, sappy old poems like this one. I mean, I've never been a discreet kind of lover, but here I was inches from weeping. So happy and rested and full of an evening, and I walked the stones for a while, then decided on leaving. Walked to a cafe and ordered a cafe <laughs> and smoked cigarettes. <laughs> That's a joke, in joke. Doesn't even say that in the poem, I just thought I'd break it up a bit. <laughs> I smoked cigarettes and wondered if one day we'd do this for real. I have been trying for years not to feel so much anguish for you. I drunk myself blind and gone home with too many others and never felt any respite from the teeth of your beauty that came in the night to bite me from my dreams and leave my eyes empty, staring from stages back into my memory, out of my mind in the desert, wishing for time to fuck off and give me that moment forever. Dawn over mountains, I'm kissing you. I run across roads, chasing a face, but it isn't you. Months upon months of clenched fists that punch the wood top of bars and all the more booze. Rum in my blood, whispering love to a vacant embrace, and it still isn't you. But now here I was, waiting for the train, no blood, just you in my veins. You called me into being when you said my name as I loved you, and then time moved on and things changed. But I saved one French cigarette, I locked it away in a drawer. Then the summer came on, and I saw you in the fields, and we kissed, and I knew it was real. And something, there was no point in rushing. I made sure you knew I was there when you needed. I made sure I didn't get under your feet. Gave you space. You inspired me endlessly. Give me the strength to believe in going after this destiny. The world was my friend when I could retreat to the scenes where our eyes had met across dancing crowds. And in one gaze exchange, we made love for an age. Even though at that stage, we wasn't allowed. We both had others to be thinking about. This morning, I'm listening to your favorite singer. The windows are open. Yesterday we sat in late autumn sun in the woods and you lay in my arms and it was so good. And now we are engaged to be married. The years of this love have been equally savage and wonderful, perfect and fucking uncomfortable. I take the cigarette out of the drawer and I look at it. Years of clutching onto each moment, making it something mythical, magic, celebrating every embrace with a panic because I never knew when the next one would be. But now it is different. The moments can pass without me making monuments out of our past. The songs on repeat. My love's still as strong as it ever was. I smoked that fag I've been saving and tasted it, thinking it's strange how we made it from this, from all those moments back then. True love that will never be anything but, and I can't wait to see you again.